was watching But it's so hard to get to you Cause when you see the sun, I see the moon Buckets of water, millions of clouds Miles of road just to get Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be filming my everyday makeup look or a look that I would go to if I'm like going out with my husband and my daughter or just something that I just go to. <laughs> my uh, everyday makeup look, like I just said. Um, now I want to be clear, I don't wear makeup every single day, but there are a few products here that I do put on my face daily and I guess you can consider it makeup. So I do wear makeup every day, but I don't necessarily have like a go-to makeup look. like eyeshadow and all that stuff but when i do go out there is a certain look that i like to aim for and so that's what we're going to do today um this eyeshadow palette is what we're going to be starting with but i am going to list off the products that i already have on my face that i wear whenever i wear makeup so the first thing is this mellow brow pencil i do like a micro brow pencil but this has been pretty nice it has a little spoolie on the end and has the brow product product here it's like in a triangular shape so you can form a nice brow you can do pretty much any shape brow and if you'll notice I change the shape of my brows pretty frequently so <laughs> I just whatever you know works my elf beauty shield primer <laughs> I feel so repetitive talking about this but this stuff is awesome I do wear this daily like wash my face in the morning on um, when I have my mommy time and I put on my serum and then I pop this sucker on top because it does shield your face from the environment and I really do like that and so I do wear this product every single day another elf product that I use every single day which you can kind of tell it's like beat up it's what I have on my lips right now is their perfect pink uh, chapstick I guess um, but it looks well it doesn't look like this when you buy it but it's like pale pink and when you rub it into your lips it makes your lips like the perfect shade of pink for your face so i really do like that so i already have those things on my face and so we can go ahead and get started with the eyes i'm going to try to not point i want to talk to you guys so this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time and i really really do enjoy it um because it's so simple you really can get such a pretty look from it and here i am playing around because i can't see <laughs> which eyeshadow brush i want to use i guess i'll use my new luxie one that came in my boxy charm so i'm going to go ahead and go in with the color um i'm going to be realistic with myself i'm going to go in with hobby When Emily created this palette, she just created a beast for me because this palette does offer a very simple everyday look. You don't have to be like amazing at eyeshadow to get a good look out of this. And you can go bold, you can go soft, and I like that because if I'm talking about like an everyday makeup look, then I'm definitely gonna go soft and rock it really simple. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with my finger on the color Cupcake, which is like this really pretty pale pink. And I'm gonna pop that all over the lid. This is gonna be so quick, you guys, but I just wanna show you guys kind of like my style, like what it is I actually like to wear on my face. And you guys, if you've watched any of my videos other than this one, then you would know I am definitely a finger girl. I prefer to use my fingers as much as I can when applying eyeshadow. Excuse my hair, you guys. It is like not cooperating with me today, but that's okay. Cause this is a, not a hair video. This is a makeup video. I'm just happy it looks somewhat decent. When you have curly hair like me, you just really go with the flow. Like whatever your hair wants to do, you just let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Prayer. You'd be surprised because majority of my videos I have worn shimmers, but if we're talking about like an everyday look, I would definitely stick to matte eyeshadow just because it's more friendly on the eyes. It's a lot nicer to wear and I like a mauve kind of pink look or either a soft brown neutral look. 
And I think that's why for this tutorial I didn't go with my Tarte Rainforest palettes, the special edition ones, because um, they're mainly shimmers. I guess this isn't all, because Cupcake is kind of a satin finish, but the rest is matte. So, all right, so we're done with the eyes for right now. We're not gonna do much more to them, honestly, so this is kind of almost it. But um, I've mentioned, well, so where's my foundation? I've mentioned this foundation before. I really do like it a lot. This is the Photo Photo Ficus Foundation. <laughs> this is the Photo Finish. Fo it's not. This is the Photo Focus uh, Foundation by Wet n Wild. I'm renaming it. I'm really, really famous for that. I will rename anything in a heartbeat. People, places, um, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna dot, ooh, lioness. I'm just gonna dot this around my face. This foundation's perfect for every day, and I've said this in my other video. I think this was a BoxyCharm video. I don't know what video it was, but a Cinderella or something, which if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I recommend you check them out. But this is the perfect everyday foundation just because it blends in so easily. <laughs> and it just really looks pretty on the face. And I got it on Amazon for $2 and change, which was like a freaking still considering how much I really like it. I didn't think that I would, but I'm obsessed. I got it because if you don't watch Sabrina, uh, Sabrina with a Z on um, YouTube, you're missing out. She's the best. But um, I got it because I really like her videos and she recommended it and one of her older ones. So I was like, I'm going to check it out and see if this is something that I can wear. And it definitely is. I really really like that foundation a lot it's very pretty and it's lightweight and it does last in hot weather which I really enjoy because I live in a humid climate and no one's got time for foundation to be melting off the face I'm gonna go in with my instant age rewind erase dark circles treatment concealer um, I got mine in the color fair Claire and I'm just gonna do a little bit here I'm a mommy, but I don't have extreme dark circles. I have pretty decent ones though. So I do like a nice concealer. I do like the e.l.f. concealer, but if I'm being honest, I wouldn't wear it on a daily basis. Just because my under eye area can get a little dry sometimes, and that is a very dry concealer. Like once you put it on, it stays, but it is very matte and it's super light which I like and I think I'll like it even more in the winter even though it is drying but I like the color payoff for the winter time whereas summer if I'm going out with my family this is more of the concealer I'm going to use and as you can tell like <laughs> I use this sucker I use it a lot okay we're gonna set the face with my Cody uh, airspun loose powder I have mine in the color uh, suntan which was a total accident, but I meant to get the translucent one, but whatever. I got this again because Sabrina recommended it. No, I'm not obsessed. I just, I really do trust her opinion when it comes to makeup. So I do kind of go off of what she says. I also love the Wants palette for this big behind mirror. Even if I'm not necessarily going to wear something from it, I am going to use it. I like Cody's powder because it really sets the face nice. It's not like super crazy, but at the same token, it doesn't compensate. And Sabrina has said this in her videos, it really doesn't. If you've got a crappy foundation, this stuff's going to let you know it's crappy. It looks like this. It's like six bucks at Walmart and Amazon, so it's super inexpensive. And I think that's another reason why I like it, because I love a bargain. Now for a blush, because I don't wear highlighter on a regular basis, this blush by Laura Geller, New York, is my favorite. It's called Tropic Hues. 
I like it because it has kind of highlight built in so you can kind of get away with not wearing one and I'm just going to coat my brush. I do like a nice little blush streak. I like my face to look pinky kissed. And I realized I skipped bronzer. Sorry, I paused you guys. My daughter just woke up a little bit out of her sleep, so the hubs went to go get her. Um, but anyways, I'm going to use my bronzer. That's not bronzer. A bronzer that I would wear every day would definitely be blee. I realized that I put my bronzer in the wrong pan. This says blush on the back and that says bronzer. I didn't know that they did that. But anyways, just gonna bronze my face real quick with this. I feel like this is a good everyday bronzer. Alrighty, and what else would I do on a normal basis? So weird, because I don't really think about this. Oh yeah, let me finish off my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go back in with prayer and just line the whole underwater line here. I really wanna get my hands on that Halo Top collab. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, Wet n Wild did come out with a collab with Halo Top, and I'm really, really wanting to get my hands on that thing. All right, my eyes are finished, and so honestly, I may or may not wear um, like eyeliner, but uh, lifted mascara here. This is in brown too. Now, last but not least, the lips. So for me daily, I put on my Perfect Pink lip balm here. And then normally what I'll do is I will take my now new favorite lip gloss, my Dominique uh, lip gloss here. And I'll put this on on top <laughs> honestly and I really like this for every day because it's comfortable it's extremely comfy like super comfy this is my everyday go-to makeup look this is something that is simple it is soft and I would go out anywhere with this and I would normally set it with this cucumber uh, wet n wild photo focus three-in-one base fixer all that stuff I love this stuff and I've said it before it is spectacular and I'm almost out so I'm definitely gonna get another bottle but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, check out my videos hit the bell notification to stay notified like the video this helps the video circulate around the internet so that more people can see my videos and decide whether or not they want to join and you know watch any more of them but anyways God bless and I will see you guys next time bye